The family of a 12-year-old boy trying to understand how a school bus could have hit and killed him. The tragedy happened Tuesday afternoon in front of Franklin Middle School. That's on Annapolis between Howe and Vinoy in the city of Wayne. The boy's parents are remembering a 12-year-old with big dreams. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig explains. He turns 13 on the 23rd. We were supposed to go to Frankenmuth for his birthday. He was supposed to bring his best friend that lives around the block. Joni Dawson and Brian Escobedo can't believe their 12-year-old son Jacob is gone, hit and killed by a school bus outside Franklin Middle School in the city of Wayne. I remember thinking like I was going to take the kids out after I got off work to for a Valentine's dinner. And I was 30 minutes from getting off of work when I got the call. Jacob was hit by the school bus Tuesday afternoon right in front of Franklin Middle School on Annapolis. Classes had just dismissed for the day. His mom says one of Jacob's friends called her, and as soon as she got to the school, she followed the ambulance and police to the hospital. I had to walk out of the hospital and just leave him there. That was hard because I shouldn't leave my children just and not come back for them. Police will only say the bus driver is a man who is cooperating with their investigation and they do not suspect drugs or alcohol were involved. I want to know what happened. I want to know. I, I don't want to hear the speculations. I want to know the facts and just hope people can come forward to help that help with that. A family friend has started a GoFundMe to help Jacob's parents with funeral costs. The superintendent issuing a letter to parents to let them know of the tragedy and that their crisis support team would be at the school today for anyone who needs to talk. He's just a good kid. Yeah. He was really trying. Wayne police also asking that anyone who witnessed the tragedy to contact them as Jacob's family mourns the loss of the bright boy who loved to draw and spend time with his family. He was so excited about different things. We played Dungeons and Dragons together. We just, we had a lot of stuff in common that we really, really shared on. He's, he looks, he's like my mini me. He looked just like me. It's like I lost myself. In Wayne, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.